Hey guys, and welcome to Computex. The gear, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This one, I believe, is uh, the, the 270 Tai Chi motherboard. This one uses uh, the latest X299 Tai Chi X299. motherboard. X299? Yes. So this is the X, X299 299, motherboard? X299, yes. Uh, the, the main difference or the eye-catching part is the heatsink design. Heatsink, this one, is actually the, the gear. The gear, yeah, yeah, I noticed. You have a uh, lighting, RGB lighting? Yes, RGB lighting. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so this one again, another 270. Uh, this is a 270 motherboard. Uh, this one is actually modeled by a Japanese guy. Right. A Japanese model. And it's, as you can see, very clean, very slick uh, modding uh, style. Okay, yes. good, good. Yeah, I like the, uh, the bits power. Yeah, the, the, the chrome bits. So we have uh, all the bits power cooling right here. Yes. You can see. Uh, we have the, uh, the bits power chrome fittings. And uh, the tubing is all chrome, right? Very nice. Again, Cooler Master case uh, with the uh, Tai Chi motherboard inside. This one is a Z170 or 270? Uh, 270. 270 board? Yes. Yeah. And I noticed the, uh, the new X99 Intel motherboard range from ASRock. All yeah. of our Tai Chi motherboard range. This is the Tai Chi motherboard. Currently four motherboards. Four motherboards? Yes. You got ones from uh, overclocking to the standard uh, gaming one, all here. Yeah. Okay, so show us this one. This one is this interesting. One is the, more, the most interesting, most special model, case model. This one's based on a ship ca aircraft carrier, right? And it has the motherboard here. Look at it. Look at the runway with the uh, LED lights here. Well, this one is actually combined with, with a super carrier theme. Super, super carrier, as you know, is a, a battleship. Battleship. Yeah, so we make a battleship out of uh, oh, as an extension of the motherboard. We have the uh, runway theme over here, so we extend that the, the theme. Uh, from here, and also we built uh, a, a whole uh, battleship around the motherboard. Yeah, yeah. Check out the radiator here. Yeah, combined with uh, all the water cooling. Cooling, yeah. Yes. Nice hard bands as well. Again, bits power, water cooling components. Excellent. This is a, a, a water block combined with a, the a CPU okay. MOSFET. This one, bits power again? Yes, bits power. Bits power, monoblock for the uh, Tai Chi. Yes. ASRock Tai Chi motherboard. Uh, sorry, uh, the uh, super carrier. Super carrier, sorry, yes. super carrier. Two, two Z270 super carrier motherboard. Yes. Very nice. Okay, so this again, this is a battleship theme. Yes. Uh, interesting, one of the most yes. interesting ones I've seen so yes. far at this booth. And what you have here, is this a mining rig, a bit, yes, Bitcoin? Yes, a, a, a Bitcoin a, mining rig. A Bitcoin mining rig? Yes. With how many? One, two, three, four, five well, graphics actually, shots. this mother was specially built for Bitcoin mining, so uh, it can hold up to 13 uh, graphic cards. 13 graphics cards? 13 this, graphics cards. This, this whole chassis here is actually just for mounting graphics cards. Check it out. And how many graphics cards you got? Wow, two, four, Currently six, eight. Only, uh, I've been running for eight uh, graphic cards. Eight graphics now. cards. The reason why we didn't uh, put all 13 together is You need power supply, right? Big one. <laughs> the, what they called? Driver limitation. Driver limitation. Yes, from, because AMD, uh, they had a uh, driver bug. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, once you put, uh, install over uh, eight graphic cards, you have to become very buggy. So I noticed they're not on the full PCIe slots, right? Yes, they're on the, um, only by one. Yeah. PCIe by one. Yes. And uh, you have, wow, check this out. You have the uh, PCIe on times one. Yes. And this one on USB. Yes. Going into uh, so up to, up another uh, another backplate board, PCB board, which runs off the USB. Yes. So all the graphics cards are all connected up this way. Yeah. And then it gives you the, the raw power for Bitcoin mining. Interesting. I haven't seen that before, but there are people who does this. Like that, this style, Bitcoin well, mining. The Bitcoin mining, uh, they, the, the miners usually don't uh, just put the graphics straight on the motherboard. They yeah. always use some sort of uh, method <laughs> to extend the, 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 the graphic card. Wow. We use a USB cable because USB is actually more stable than a traditional riser card. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Okay, interesting. All right, let's go over to the X99 boards. So, over here, this is the new Intel range, X99, yes. on uh, which socket? Two, uh, two, 2011. 2011? Uh, R3. 
20, I think the, it's... The next generation of the 2011. Oh, so yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. So it shares the same, uh, what's that called? He sings. That's an excellent 2066, time. actually. Yeah. So this is a new Intel range of uh, motherboards uh, with using the X299 chipset with the new CPU running uh, at the LGA 2066. 20, 20, yes. Yeah. And then it's a complete range you have from the Tai Chi in the middle right here uh, through to the uh, gaming. Yeah, gaming i9. i9, K6, uh, the SLI killer, OC formula for overclocking. Yes, that's correct. And this is a interesting one because check this out. You have the uh, Mini IATX X299. 299 Mini IATX motherboard. So we don't see many of that. Yeah. But yeah, but check this out. This is probably the first one you will see, right? Yeah. It's the Mini IATX X299 motherboard. Yes. What's special about this, uh, uh, in the last uh, X99 uh, Mini IATX motherboard, you can only uh, insert only two uh, memory DIMMs. Two DIMMs, yeah, DDR4. Yes. DDR4, that's a long DIMM uh, yeah. setup. This one, we uh, smaller the, the DIMM so, uh, slot size. So SO DIMMs. Yeah, two SO DIMMs, so you can have, you, you now have space to put four SO DIMMs on the motherboard. So giving you quad channel. Quad channel, yes. So here's that, guys. So we have quad channel memory running on this little beast here. So four channels, uh, four, four memory slots, so DDR4, SO DIMMs. Yes. Uh, up to what speed? Uh, 3200. 3200, not yes. bad. And then on this side, if you're interested in is is yeah, use, the use two vertical uh, cards. Vertical, vertical yeah. cards. So, so whereas the normal the SATA is on the board, facing like out of the board. So they got PCIe cards that come out this slot, giving you this SATA. Yes. And the M.2. M.2 is on is this side. Also on this side. And, and what's special about it is on the uh, top of the motherboard, you have one uh, Ultra M.2 slot. On the back, you have another two. Yeah. So your total, uh, you have three M.2 slots. Uh, that's a uh, PCI Gen 3 by 4 Gen 3 by 4 so full speed. Full speed on this side and also on the other side. On the other side. And also uh, on the X299 motherboard, what's special about it is, is it has a, a unique function called VROC. That's, VROC. That's a, a virtual RAID on CPU. Oh, RAID right on CPU. That means oh, right, you right, right. can uh, build a RAID system out uh, from uh, PCIe lanes coming out from the CPU. So it makes faster. Faster, yes. So guys, this is a little, little minimal like this mini IATX, but their features and the amount of stuff you have on this is truly amazing. Yeah. All right. So you have a complete range of Intel X299 motherboards from ASRock. Uh, very interesting. So we'll be getting some samples and obviously doing some reviews if we uh, get that later on. So great, thanks for that. Moving on, what we have interesting uh, 270 and also some of the important motherboard like the Mini ITX and also AMD motherboards. Oh, the uh, AM4. Yes, AM4. The, uh, the Ryzen, right? Yeah. So you have Ryzen boards at the bottom here, uh, Intel boards. So this is a current complete range that you sell right now on the market. Yes. Yeah. But I've been quite interested in some of the AM4 boards. Uh, they've been, you know, the performance on the CPUs has been pretty good. So, yeah, I will want to check that out maybe later Let on. Let me show you, show you uh, our, a live demo. Yeah, our live demo. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, lift the embargo and limitation uh, just, well, three o'clock. So it's very new and not, none of them see yet. So that's coming from over here. This one uses our uh, S299 Tai Chi motherboard. Okay. This one, uh, we use uh, the latest i7. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, this is the Skylake X. Yes. Uh, so. The CPU. So we are running uh, Intel's own STU uh, performance benchmarking. You can see the score over here. Right. And also, this one uh, is. This one is very special because our the most high-end X299 motherboard we adopts a uh, a latest and fastest uh, 10 gigabits uh, lane. Oh, it's 10, 10 gigabits lane. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It is a, a quencher solution. Yep. Yeah, 10 gigabit lane. So, so uh, this demo uh, wants to show you that. Uh, let's see. We have a 10 gigabit, 10 gigabit NAS over here and a 10 gigabit uh, switch over here. Right. So it can transfer the data using the bizarre speed of uh, 10, uh, 10 gigabits. 10 gigabits, yeah. Yes. So with the speed, it's, it's uh, outputting fairly consistent between 7 to 8, 9 gigabits per second. So up to, almost up to the uh, maximum level. So with that speed, you do live video editing. Yes, this is actual speed. Yeah. Actually, so you can see it's 
some, 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 sometimes 80 gigabytes, sometimes 5. This is actual speed. You, we actually put a, a SSD in this NAS. So. so SSD in this NAS, yes. running through a 10 gigabit interface, going in from the NAS to, to the uh, QNAP. This is a 10 gigabit switch, switch and, and, and then it goes NAS. to the NAS, all right. Yes. Uh, and using the, obviously, the 10 gigabit onboard LAN. Yes, that's correct. So is that available on the X99 boards? Uh, not X99, no, but X299. Oh, so X299, yes, sir. X299. 299 uh, gaming i9 motherboard. Yeah, so X299 boards will have the 10 gigabit LAN. Uh, only uh, the, the top, end, top, top end. Top end. Top end. Yes. Okay, great. Amazing. All right. So this is the AM4 range, the Ryzen boards. M4 range and also uh, the latest X399. X399. This one. And what's the difference about the X399 between our X370? Because at that time, launch, X370 is the, the top end, right? Yeah. So now you have the X399? 399 is actually not, not, uh, not launched yet. Not launched yet, yeah, so... AMD won't launch this platform around, I think it's Q3. I'm, Q3. I'm, not, I'm not very sure. Okay. But, uh, straight away you can see the, the socket size is very, very different. Does it's, that mean it's a different process altogether? A different. All oh, right. Very okay. different. Yes. So this is the uh, the Threadripper yes. CPU That's from correct. AMD. Yes. Uh, based on the Ryzen, but it has a newer socket. Yes. Uh, yes, I can see it's wider. Ah, I can see the difference right away. So the X370 dual channel memory. Check it out. Channel. X399 quad channel memory. Similar to the uh, X992 299, right? Yes. The Intel ones. Yeah. So. This will then give you probably even more performance, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so the X399, the other difference is it's up to 16 cores, 32 threads. The third ripper, yes. And so this is very interesting. Yeah, I think animal. this will be pretty fast, right? Pretty badass, yes. Yeah, it'll be a badass too. Let me take a photo because I, I, I like to see this. This is something, this is something quite new, quite interesting. This particular one is uh, the, the most high-end uh, professional gaming one, so it also has a 10 gigabit left. I noticed you <laughs> have well, the X, X99 Tai Chi, but it's blank. Well, but is, that, is, that, is that already hidden away, or is it going to well, be on display? Well, uh, we took it down because, uh, you know... NDA. <laughs> right? Well, not NDA, because we, we need uh, for diff different purpose. All we'll right. put, it back, put it back on. All oh, right, okay, yeah. later on. Yes. Okay, well, we'll come back and take a look at, sure, at sure, that. Sure, 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 yes. So obviously everything is still sample, preference design, nothing uh, set yet, right? So yeah. we'll have more news about that at Q3. Well, for, the, for these two motherboards, you, maybe you can, you, you will see it, but we, we took it down because some different purposes. Yeah, maybe right. uh, some sales to the, to the meeting or something. Yeah, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You will see it uh, during the comedy X. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, so the AMD, AM4 platform of the boards right here. Yes. So um, I think this year AMD has made a kind of a, uh, a bit of a, a shockwave. Yeah. So we'll see because everything new always has this. Everything these, is new. Takes time for it to settle down. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, this year, later on, this Q3, Q4, we'll see it will be more, very interesting. more people going for AMD.